In this problem, we want to estimate how deep the ocean is at a point. So let's say that this is the water level, and we've got a little boat here, and somewhere down below is where the ocean floor is. And we want to measure the depth of the ocean. So we want to measure this distance right here, D. And the way that the sailor here has done this is, he's hit the side of the boat just at the water level, so the sound from him hitting it is going to travel down to the bottom of the ocean, hit the ocean floor, and then echo back until he hears it again. And he hears it at a time of 2.0 seconds after he hits the ship. Now, here's what's interesting about this. This time is the amount of time it takes for the boat to go all the way down to the ocean floor, through going through the distance D we want to find, and then coming back up. So it actually goes through this distance twice in this time. So I'm actually going to have this and say that t, the amount of time it takes for the sound to go through d, is equal to 2.0 seconds divided by 2, half of that. So our time is actually going to be 1.0 seconds. Now to find d, we're going to use the speed equation for the speed of sound. Speed is equal to distance over time, and we want to solve this for d because that's what we want to find. So to solve for d, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by t, so that we end up with an equation telling us that d, the distance traveled by the sound, is equal to the speed of sound times time. Now the speed of sound is given to us as 1560 meters per second. That's the speed of sound in seawater, and we're assuming it's constant, unchanging. And we're going to multiply this by the, the one second. And we don't, really need to, we don't really need to put this into our calculator since it's just multiplying it by one. And that just tells us that the distance, d, is about 1,560 meters. That was a very sloppy m. Jesus. 1,560 meters. And that is the, that we can estimate as the depth of the ocean at this point in the sea. Uh, now, because the whole point of this problem is that we're doing an estimation here, some textbooks or, or some teachers might expect you to, like, round this up to, like, 1,600 meters so that you have fewer significant figures, but that's probably not the biggest deal in the world. But, uh, but yeah, this is the problem, and this is how we can estimate the depth of the ocean at that point. So, yeah, so that's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me make more videos like this. But if you have any questions, anything you didn't understand, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. If you have a request for a future video, or you just want to hang out, I have a Discord server and a Twitch page that are both linked in the description down below. So that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely night. Bye bye